What's going on, guys? Paul Ryan, your host of the Across the Cowboys podcast, coming at you again with another day in the content challenge. And so, guys, after talking about running backs for a couple of days in a row, uh, of course, you know, referring to Josh Jacobs and Derrick Henry, if you haven't seen those videos, please check those out and let me know what you think. Uh, tonight, um, I was inspired by the 1053 The Fan. Uh, crew to um, to be exact the get right show shout out to Reg Atatua and his and his co-host forgive me for not remembering their names but um, reason I bring them up is because I was listening to their show tonight while I was working and they played a clip about T.Y. Hilton they were talking about C.D. Lamb and they they played a clip of T.Y. Hilton uh, he was on a podcast recently and T.Y. was just talking about how C.D. Lamb is you know a bona fide wide receiver one like he is him as the kids say But he was also saying how he, you know, in a short time here in Dallas, how he helped CD with his route running ability. And I know early on, you know, after Amari Cooper left and just, you know, kind of for CD Lamb's career that his routes haven't been as precise. That's something that he needed to work on. And so T.Y. Hilton was just saying how how he had helped him do that. And, um, you know, the the reason I was bringing that up is because we know last offseason we heard a lot about Brandon Cook's doing the same thing for Jalen Tolbert. And I'm curious, you know, what we saw what Jalen Tolbert was able to do this past season, I mean, especially compared to what he did his rookie season, leaps and bounds. And, you know, he was, I don't know if impact player is the right word, but he produced when given the opportunity. Um, And it has me wondering, we know that there's going to be some uh, salary cap casualties, we'll call them. And what we know that Michael Gallup, he himself, he's probably going to be a salary cap casualty. And we don't really know what we're, what's going to happen with Brandon Cooks. Um, I believe he's on a pretty team-friendly deal. I think it's only like $6 million, But he could potentially either uh, maybe be cut or be reworked. But there's a chance that we might lose him. And my question to you guys is, after seeing what we saw from Jalen Tolbert in 2023, how would you feel about Jalen Tolbert being the wide receiver two for this team? We know how important it is for uh, the wide receiver one to have a um, reliable wide receiver next to him to take pressure off of him, to take coverage off of him, to give him more favorable matchups. And do you think that we've seen enough from Jalen Tolbert to do that? How confident are you in Jalen Tolbert's ability after what we saw his rookie season and what we saw last year? Um, Is is Jalen Tolbert somebody that you think is ready for a a bigger role? Uh, Me personally... I'd like to see a little bit more. I do think that if we lose both Gallup and Brandon Cooks, that we should definitely address wide receiver. I mean, um, I know we've got a couple of younger guys after CeeDee Lamb and after Jalen Tolbert, but, you know, with this Cowboys team kind of, I don't know, being a young team, but also having that win now type of vibe around them, I I think it'd be wise to, to bring in a veteran. Uh, just in case of injury and also maybe even draft one. You know, I haven't uh, done a lot of, you know, too too deep a dive into the wide receivers in this draft class. Of course, the, you know, the bigger names, the Marvin Harrison Juniors, Rome Adunze, Adunze, excuse me, and Malik Neighbors. I mean, those are going to be out of Cowboys reach. Unfortunately, those guys are all probably going top 15. Um, but there are some other guys like a Troy Frank- Franklin, who's a speedster out of Oregon. He could be a nice fit. That would be, you know, a field stretcher. That's always a nice compliment to a to a wide receiver like C.D. Lamb. But again, you know, um, I just uh, now, now that we're here talking, guys, I, I wonder how big of a need is the wide receiver position going into the 2024 season. Um, it'll be interesting to see. There's a lot of things that are going to happen in the next couple of weeks and a lot of tough decisions are going to be made. So it'll be interesting to see, man. Um, You know, one, one more thing about the offense uh, before we get out of here, you think about CD lamb, what he's going to do, you know, being the target hog, being the wide receiver one, Jake Ferguson. I mean, I know he, I think he's, he's shown that he's ready for a bigger role, but without a, you know, without knowing who the running back is and without knowing who the potential wide receiver two is, Interesting, interesting days in Dallas, you know, with like we talked about, um, we talked about the offensive line. We talked about running backs and now wide receivers. It's going to be an interesting offseason and how we approach this with with Dak's contract and CDs and everything. And I look forward to uh, seeing what the Cowboys do and get to break it all down with you guys and uh, getting y'all's opinion about it all. So, uh, you know, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. Of course, every Monday night we're bringing you guys new content. 
as always, it's going to be guest focused content We're you know, we're here to entertain and most importantly, inform. And I hope you guys will join us on this, on this journey. That is the off season heading into the 2024 season. And I hope you guys have a good night.